The Martindale CD1000 cable detector does a lot more than its name suggests. As well as tracing cables in walls or underground, it can be used to locate fuses and circuit breakers on live or dead circuits, locate interruptions and open circuits in cables and electrical floor systems, and also trace metallic water and heating pipes. The CD1000 kit includes a transmitter, receiver, test leads and an earthing rod. The CD1000 has two basic setups, one pole or two pole. One pole applications are performed on non-live circuits and require the transmitter and any untested conductors to be connected to a source of earth, which can be the building's own earth or by use of the supplied electrode. The conductor being tested is then connected to the positive terminal of the transmitter. This mode can be used for finding interruptions in conductors buried in the fabric of the building, including those used in underfloor heating. Or, if used in conjunction with a flexible metallic tube, can be used to locate blockages in non-metallic pipework. Double pole applications are divided into those performed on either live or dead circuits. Live applications include connecting the transmitter to the neutral and phase conductor of a circuit and using the receiver to trace the circuit, even down to identifying the fuse or circuit breaker that protects it. Double pole dead tests include locating short circuits in wiring, detecting relatively deep laid wiring and determining and sorting installed wiring. Sometimes for sorting, additional transmitters can be used and set to relay different codes. This can help identify a number of conductors very quickly. It is also possible to set the receiver sensitivity into manual, meaning that weaker signals can be eliminated. When connecting the transmitter to circuits in installations which may have been disconnected from the supply, the transmitter does include a useful torch facility. The CD1000 then is a very useful tool that will not only save a lot of time when tracing conductors and pipework, but can also save having to drill exploratory holes into plasterboard and other building fabric with concealed installations behind.